Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is that we're going to show you a mini chat flow and we're going to actually break down how to make a mini chat flow. And with that said, we're going to actually show component by component to actually give you a beginner's guide to actually succeed. This will be a quick tutorial on how to get started on doing a, a making your own flow and actually being successful. So if you watch this video from start to finish, you should be successful making your own flow and actually understanding the components of that flow. All right, so let's go, go ahead and get straight to the video. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is come up here to the very top, right? We're going to go to uh, New Flow. We're going to name this New Flow, um, let, let's just call this Mini Chat, <coughs> Mini Chat um, Tutorial, right? I mean, that way we exactly know exactly what we're building. Um, this is actually going to bring into uh, the environment where you see what you're writing. Now, you can build it out message per message and keep creating stuff like this. Or the easier option is that what I recommend is going to um, the Flow Builder. The Flow Builder is very friendly and it's very easy to use because it's very easy to uh, see and, and kind of go through. So um, let's just start off by saying you start off with a message, right? When you start off with a message, you can actually type in whatever you want to, but note that you don't have to actually keep it at the same message that you start out with. Meaning I could come over here to the, this, uh, the bubble icon and actually I can choose if I want a message. I can choose if I want to perform an action. If I want to check another, uh, start another flow, if I want to use a condition, a randomizer, or a smart delay or a comment so again a comment is basically like if you wanted to come in here and put some kind of um, comment like this uh, is a quick uh, tutorial you know so if you wanted to kind of just put a comment there you know that's not actually applicable it's not actually um, part of the flow itself, but you know, it, it is something that you can put in there for like a note for yourself. So let's get started with this. You can easily just click on the message instruction uh, and basically come in and put in your uh, very first start. Um, so generally you want, you want to introduce yourself. You want to say hi and then add the like this um, bracket down here that and choose whatever you want to. Generally speaking, most people choose first name um, because that's inviting and it's actually um, coming in and showing that you know you're you're actually talking to a person right and then they sometimes people pick emojis you can come down here to the very uh, bottom corner and pick your emoji for that you can actually come in and put a smiley face or whatever you want there's a big pretty big assessment that you can choose from so um, again that I just pick a smiley face um, then they come in and just say uh, just say for instance um, uh, nice to meet you you and I hope you enjoy the quick tutorial. Yeah, because nobody likes long, right? <laughs> um, and then you can say something like, uh, do you like quick uh, information informational uh, and I hack that up so um, informational um, tutorials or more detailed ones And then what you can do is you can put in what they have um, down here is you can put in a button or you can choose a quick reply. Um, oftentimes I choose a quick reply because of the fact of it disappears as soon as the person pushes it and I don't have to have the button will stay there and you um, you will actually see that. I actually have a video on that. So if you wanted to like look back and see that video, you, you can. Um, and it is talking about the difference between using buttons and using quick replies. So again, so we'll just have a quick reply and then we'll put a little emoji in here that says, yeah. Um, so um, let's say uh, quick tutorials. 
Um, and then we'll put that in there and then we'll put a, a little, um, we can put uh, a message behind it if we wanted to. Uh, and then we'll put um, uh, detail. Let's see. Type uh, detailed in here. Detailed uh, tutorials. And make sure you spell it right, right? So, <laughs> um, so then that comes in and you can put in, um, you put in another message too, right? So um, now we have our first message and we're actually asking a question, right? So now what do we do? So if we wanted to move this little note out the way, uh, what we can do is come in and actually, um, so think of it this way. Think of you talking to somebody and you're actually typing. And when you're typing, you definitely don't want to be, um, you know, like you're not typing really, really quick, right? So you're not actually pop, 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 pop. I mean, some people are. Don't get me wrong. I have kids that, that actually can just type crazy. I mean, but I can't. Personally, when I'm texting somebody, I mean, I, I listen to what they said and then I answer back and you kind of take some time to type it, right? So this comes to that point. You can come up here and you can add a delay. Um, and you add it with this. This is down here. You got a bunch of controls that you can select from. And then when you select from those controls, you can, you know, you can put text, images, cards, galleries, files, videos, audibles, um, you know, delay is what we just used. Um, you can use user input, um, uh, dynamic stuff. I mean, and these are pro version stuff. So unless you're using the pro, you're not going to see that again. So I like to uh, start off with a timer and I like to adjust that timer to like two seconds. So that's two seconds of, of somebody like typing. It appears that somebody's typing. And then that way you kind of get a feel of, you know, somebody actually engaging with, uh, you know, you as far as that goes. And what we'll do is we'll make this a quick little flow and we'll actually run it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So what we'll do is we'll actually start like typing right now. What we'll do is, and uh, being that they said in the case that you like short tutorials, then basically we'll say, uh, great. Um, and then we'll say, um, and well, you can actually have like, uh, just kind of emphasize stuff, you know, kind of make it kind of engaging and you can say, great. And then, um, would you like to, uh, know more and, you know, keep learning with short video content and then again so in this this instance what we can do is we can choose to use a button and I'll show you the difference in that too so that way you get to see the, the difference but like I said I do have a video on that um, as well so um, we'll just throw in yes and then we'll basically tag them um, and using an action we will basically tag that person and then we'll come in here and say uh, no um, and then we'll do the same thing there. So now we have two actions in here and what we want to do is we want to say that the person liked uh, short tutorial tutorials so quick two tutorials and then at this one um, actually yeah that's uh, short tutorials and video and future video cool so uh, in this one we can say they like short tutorials so uh, short tutorial <clears throat> or quick tutorial right that's what we named it quick to tutorial And we could say they don't like short content. So no short video. So that way we tag the person properly, right? So, um, and don't worry about like if you accidentally, um, like drop out one of these, um, bars, like say for instance, you accidentally click trash and don't worry about that because you can always just drag, come over here and drag and drop this. So what I do is, I mean, sometimes you just, you, you'll erase them on purpose. 
and then you'll come back and you'll just click it and you don't have to hold it but you drag it down to where you want it to and then when you get to the the place where you want to actually land it then you would click again and that would save it right so i just want to let you know that I mean, because we all accidentally like sometimes delete stuff now if you choose to delete something like this it will actually ask you to confirm that so don't worry about that you can always click cancel and then that won't that way you save all your data um, you can always come up here and, and uh, change these messages too. So instead of just saying send message one, you can say um, uh, question about uh, video links, right? Um, then you can change that and you could say uh, starting message. So this would be um, starting flow message. I mean, so you, you could be just that simple and, and that way you kind of keep track of it yourself. So then later on, when you come back and actually you, you, you look at this and you can say, well, OK, well, I know exactly what these are doing. I don't have to read it. I know exactly what they're doing from the very, you know, what, what I did back then. Right. So I can I can understand exactly what's going on. So in this um, this very one right here, right, we want to come down and say, uh, being that they like detailed tutorials then we could say this we could say um, great great to know we will be glad to put some longer videos videos together to provide oh let me make sure we spell right right um provide a better experience and we always keep spell check um so then uh again so at that point you can uh, always throw in a, a smiley face to be engaging and then at that point um also to um remember we forgot to put our delay in there because we want to make sure we always come back and we start our next thing with the delay um, so that way you're you're not so uh, quick to and I always use a type in delay if you choose if you uncheck this box right here it just changes it to a waiting delay but personally I like to see the the little bubble pop up like somebody's typing I mean it's just very effective and you can always type this in or you can just do plus or minus so that, that's really helpful to know too and as far as that goes. So at this point, we'll, it'll be basically ending the conversation. It's a real short um, short thing there. But in the same token, like say for instance, you wanted them to know that they needed to push yes or no. What you can do is come down here and put uh, like a finger down to actually, you know, choose to, you know, choose one of these, right? Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and publish this and we'll go ahead and test it as well so at this point in time while you're editing the uh, this very first flow and you understand you know the basic properties of actual you know putting this in we can actually run this and actually uh, preview it so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and preview this flow we'll open it in in uh, messenger and it'll pop up and say hey um, and that's it hey first name my name is Shane so Hey, first name, uh, and of course, it's me. So, uh, nice to meet you. I hope you haven't. I hope you enjoy the quick tutorial. Do you like quick informational tutorials or more detailed ones? And in my case, I'll just say I like quick tutorials. Um, they're just better, in my opinion. I think you get more out of it. Um, and then, great. And then we could say, would you like to see uh, or would you like to know more and keep learning? with short video content and if I say yes that basically tags me and that would end the conversation but you see as far as the difference in uh, using the quick reply um, I can still come up here with the button and still click no I click yes again I mean I can still click these so the quick reply sometimes is better to use but it, it's it's something that you need to be aware of that um, maybe um, might be something that, that you need to understand you know what what avenue is is best in the implementation you're trying to do um, so in the very last thing too we'll go ahead and um, 
you know, add a, a name for this message. And you don't have to name these messages. I just tend to do that uh, as far as that goes. So um, basically ending message for the tutorial. Um, so um, basically that just kind of shows you where you're at. And again, you hit publish and you got it saved. So now if we come back to our flows, we have it, we have the mini chat tutorial in our flows and obviously nobody has been through it. So we just come back and click it and you can see the percentages and stuff like that of people that have been through it. We just built it so it's, there's nothing there and we can always go back to edit it and actually come in and do what we need to do as far as that goes. So hopefully this was a very helpful, um, you know, tutorial to get your, get your foot in the door and start learning about, um, mini chat and learning how to do, um, a logical flow in mini chat to use with your Facebook messenger. So again, this is, um, very, very helpful. And I'd love to know your thoughts. You know, did you like this type of, uh, of video content or did you, you know, did you want to see more detailed ones? I mean, do you like the short form or do you want to see more detailed stuff that you can actually you know kind of just sit down and, and watch like a, a good 30 minute youtube video and come out a winner um this is obviously aiming at being 10 to 15 20 you know 10 to 15 minutes to um you know to get exactly the purpose of these out and just do them in, in little spurts that way you can see video this video take a little break and see another video or however you want to i'd love to know your thoughts so please comment below and I'll make sure that I reply to every single comment. And also check us out on our Facebook, um, the Smart Bot Marketers Facebook, and join the group because we always have uh, content and we always engage with everybody on that too. So there's always helpful content there. Um, we also have our uh, website as well. So if you want to visit that, I'm still currently building it, but by the time you see this video, it will be built out and fine. So again, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So comment below and again, subscribe if you want to see all the future videos. And we look forward to talking with you and making more videos for you. So thank you for um, so the support and we look forward to, to making more videos.